Before I continue on with my readings in Joshua, uh, I mentioned in my last uh, video on chapter 5, the captain of the host of the Lord that appears to Joshua, that in my opinion it was either Michael or Adam or Christ himself. And I did mention that I would check in the Institute Manual to see what they had to say about it, which I did. And so I would like to read this to you. It's not very long. So this will be a brief uh, supplement. I'm going to read this to you because I find this fascinating. I think, I think they're right. So I, I have to agree with this. So this is in uh, chapter, what is it, 21? Sorry. Chapter 21, page 238. This is section 2112. Joshua, chapter 5, 13, verses 13 and 14. Who was the captain of the Lord's host that Joshua saw? Let us read this. Although there is a noticeable lack of detail in this account, what is recorded suggests a miraculous visitation shown to Joshua. Okay, so far, so good. Most commentators assume either a mortal servant of God or an angel came to strengthen Joshua and Israel as they prepared for their first battle. Like I said, probably Michael, right? That, that's what most people assume. Most com biblical commentators assume that this is what it is, and this is fairly common for most Christianity. But now we get into the juicy part. Two things, however, suggest that Joshua may actually have seen Jehovah, the pre-mortal Jesus Christ. First, when Joshua fell down to worship him, no attempt was made to stop him. Yet the mortal servants of God are quick to prevent others from worshiping them, even when they, are de uh, demonstrated even when they have demonstrated great power. The same thing is true of angels. For twice, when he was awed at the presence of angels and fell at their feet to worship them, John the Revelator was told the same thing. See, thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets. The angel who appeared to Samson's parents clearly taught them that any offerings were to be to the Lord, but no attempt was made to prevent Joshua from falling down to worship this being. Second, the personage commanded Joshua to remove his shoes because he was standing on holy ground. The same instructions Jehovah gave to Moses on Mount Sinai. But since this account in Deuteronomy is very scant on details, it can only be surmised that the being may have been the Lord. Okay, and it says this account in Deuteronomy. That's a misprint. It should say this account in Joshua. But I did notice the, uh, the remove your sandals from off your feet being similar to the burning bush. But I did want to check this out before I made any direct comment. So, Based on this, I have to say that I think it is most likely that it was Christ himself that appeared to God, that appeared to Joshua. That Joshua actually saw Jesus Christ as a premortal, as the premortal Jehovah, the God of the Old Testament. And I find that just fabulous. I've always loved Joshua. Joshua is a great guy. Uh, to me, he is the equivalent of Captain Moroni from the Book of Mormon. They, they are the two holy warriors of the Bible, the two greatest holy warriors of the Bible. And another the Bible of the Scriptures, because of course we realize in the Book of Mormon. But they're the two great holy warriors of Scripture. And the fact, or the idea, I can't say fact because it doesn't state it directly, but the idea that Joshua saw Jehovah, saw Jesus Christ, I just love that. But we'll get back into Joshua in the next video. So see you then.